up at 7.20 in the morning. I think that's just way too, eight is way too early for college classes. I'm so tired right now. But anyways, first day of classes. I have my coffee ready. I'm gonna stay awake. I'm here hanging out with Shakar, waiting for his next class to start. I just finished the morning section of my first class. I still have an afternoon to go. I had spatial dynamics in the morning with my teacher, Kai Franz. He seems like a really sweet teacher. This guy, he had Kai first semester. He's great. Yeah, he had a lot of fun in his class. Are you are you using a Zato knife to open? Yes. Our students, they just have Zato knives with them all the time. Our lecture in the morning was pretty interesting. We talked about the history of 3D modeling. We also talked about um, digital fabrication, which is laser cutting and 3D printing. Kai, our professor, was talking about how since those things are more accessible now, it's like the democratization of production. Like I really like the concept of democracy in design, like making things more accessible for people. already got our first assignment that's due next week which I'm really nervous about because today we learned how to use Rhino which is a 3d modeling program I'm really nervous about this because I'm not really familiar with that program but I guess that's why I'm learning yeah over the course of next week that's what I'm gonna be doing just because classes are starting doesn't mean I was gonna stop going to gym it's only the first day of classes, I can't believe I'm saying this. Today in class, I almost fell asleep like twice. Back from the gym, I'm gonna go take a shower. Tonight, I'm going to edit my last vlog, the Valentine's Day vlog. By the time this video is up, I hope that one is, that one definitely will be. <laughs> Just got out of the Met and it's 1 a.m. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this tomorrow. You're gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Today uh... is Friday, which is Drawing Studio Days. And on Drawing Studio Day, we were black. Honestly, I wish I could wear white and preserve my aesthetic, but I'm not taking that risk, not with charcoal and paint. This morning, our drawing teacher gave us a short introduction and then we get, got started with our drawing. We're gonna, we drew like for about like two hours this morning and we're gonna draw for the rest of the afternoon till five. So it's gonna be a long time. I'm gonna be holding that position. I'm really happy the way it turned out. The teacher came by it and said she was really, she really liked the scale of it. It was really big. In the beginning, she talked about how she wanted us to treat our bodies not like our bodies, more, more like a landscape. So when we draw, we have to treat it just our bodies like the form without feeling bad or weird about how we're distorting our bodies. I finished this big app drawing. It was 11 feet long. Yeah, now I have to keep it in my room because we had to keep every project we did over the semester. So that's going to take up space. Studio 
casualty. degrees Fahrenheit in the middle of February basically shorts weather how many colors like I get it <laughs> it's great <laughs> they, they're really committed to the primary colors hang 30 what Ooh, gold yeah, these at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. Aesthetic chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, these are so nice though. Mm -hmm. uh, an inspirational message from the RISD store. <coughs> <laughs> they made a dress out of the RISD store plastic <laughs> tags. It's called Get What? <laughs> Get What? I came back from the RISD store and I bought three pieces of acetate. Um, they're covered in this blue film to protect it, but it's actually clear acetate. And I also bought some printer paper for design class, because for some reason our design teacher asked for printer paper. And I bought some blue adhesive for my drawing project. This is all for my drawing project. The weather is really nice today. It's 56 degrees. And all the snow is basically melting. It's actually kind of gross on the road. The reason why I first started is uh, music project. Most people do it in fall. and lots of cum shots <laughs> on a wall. <laughs> go work in the Chase Center, which is a workspace at RISD, which has really incredible lighting. It's perfect for doing gouache. God, look at all the stuff that I have to carry. Get the studio again and get back to this shit. I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Did I just apologize for my vlog? <laughs> I just want to appreciate all the lighting in this room. Mm, so much light. I've officially reached my fuck it point. So I think I'm done for today. This doesn't look great, but it's whatever. I'm tired. There's just gotta be a point when you have to stop and be like, I'm done with this. This is how my feet, toothbrush, duct tape, and nail polish turned out. And I finished a coffee cup. Uh, these two, I'm not done yet, but I'll do them some other day. Not today. 
Can't wait to sleep. I need sleep. This morning, I don't have studio, so I decided to treat myself. It's 8.30, but I'm still in bed. The weather is so nice outside, I honestly can't believe it's winter and all the snow is melting. I'm pretty tired, but I have to do some cardio. I have to work out somehow. I've been sitting way too long in the studios and I just feel like my muscles are just wasting away. I'm taking two courses right now, uh, two liberal courses. So I just went to both of them for the first time today. This morning I went to... Uh, intro to material studies it's more of a anthropological approach to looking at materials and objects then for my afternoon class i had revitalizing the rectangle which is looking at 20th and 21st century art i took those i took both of those courses we had the choice to choose here are my notes from today's class i really like taking handwritten notes because I feel like that's the best way for me to retain information and write down information in a way that suits my style. Yeah, so today we were talking, one of the most interesting things about class is the 20 questions to ask an object, where we talk about the, um, well, how like gender, class, ethnicity, or cultural value is related to an object in class. My group analyzed the hair clip and then we talked about how it's more feminine and how it's associated with beauty. Then in revitalizing the rectangle, we were talking about revisioning the space in art. I have a lot of homework to do, so I can't really make the time to go to the brown gym right now, even though it's so much nicer. We grabbed this <laughs> solid. solid. Yeah, this is just for both of us. We're not having a party. <laughs> She actually drew all those lines. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I made this. Just kidding, I didn't. I didn't make this, but I got it. This is going the ball, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I can't say I made that. I didn't. Okay, I turned off the colors, and now we're just working the points. <sighs> yeah, it took you long enough. Okay, I'm pretty much done. So I'm gonna export this um, from Rhino and then put it in Illustrator. That I'm gonna work on it a bit more. I explored this on Illustrator and I think I'm done for tonight. I'm be tired. I need to sleep. I'm ready for my first day of design class. We have to bring a ream of printer paper. But anyways, I'm excited for what we're gonna do. This morning's design class is pretty interesting. So basically we drew on a hundred plus sheets of paper. And what our design teacher is trying to get to do, guess to do is to loosen up and then build like a vocabulary of marks and ways of drawing. Now it's lunchtime, so I'm just gonna eat a quick lunch and then do some reading because I have the same lecture classes tomorrow again, the material studies class and the revitalizing rectangle study of modern art. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous because a lot of deadlines are coming up and I have a lot of things to do. It's only the first week. 
I'm really excited about this semester's design class. I think I'm gonna really like it. My design teacher, he's a really great guy. And this has to be the favorite one that I did this morning. For our assignment, we have to do a hundred drawings and a hundred images. That's due next week. Uh, today is Tuesday. But honestly, the assignment is not as bad as it sounds. See? I'm doing it on uh, post-it notes. He left it very open-ended so we could do however we like and I wanted to do it on post-it note. I'm doing it intentionally, I'm not doing it to be lazy. I want it to be smaller scale so once all these 100 images are put next to each other, you can see directly my progression and everything that I've done. I think that is a plus side of the smaller scale. Anyways, I got started on this in class and I just came back and I'm outside my dorm, by the way. <laughs> Today in design, we talked about uh, this are, these are my notes for today in design. We're talking about the democratization of art. And I was really excited about that because I believe in making art and design accessible for all people, especially with museum nowadays. Like, it's an intimidating space. Today, I'm gonna work on my spatial homework, which was the Rhino 3D computer program. I'm gonna finish that up on Illustrator and then I'm going to have to print it in an architecture building. I was looking at some of Roy Lichtenstein's work and then he did the crying pop art girls. I'm going to have a lot of eyes crying and I think it will have a more of a pop art effect. Yeah, because I honestly would have just done it by hand. <laughs> Are you recording your process? That's us. Wow. Hey. Wow. <laughs> this one's ultra thin. Wow. Wow, I can't believe. No. I can't believe this, this is going this is... on mine. No. <laughs> Everyone knows it's you. <laughs> These are the options. You can either be Matt or what? <laughs> or I can just have some swagger. Oh, <laughs> swagger gel. Wow, which hair gel should we get? <laughs> Also, I dyed my hair yesterday night, and it's back to purple. It's not yellow anymore. Purple necklace to match my new purple hair. Oh my god, the lighting is incredibly beautiful right now. I'm in love with this. It's art. Yeah, so anyways, today I hit I, I didn't hit a new PR, but I've been constantly squatting three by threes, doing 40 pounds, and then next week I'm gonna move on to 45 pound plates on each side. I can't wait for that. So Boca is a photography technique that allows these little um, 
these little out of focus bulbs of light. Wow. And it gives a really cool effect. I'm done for tonight. This thing is due on Friday for my drawing class, and this is what I've done so far. It's all kind of bluish right now because I haven't peeled off the protective wrapping, but I'll do that once I feel more confident about my location and transportation.